While I was starting to research the steering wheel and how to put it together and all the parts, I happened to notice this picture and D6. I had seen these parts on the parts placard and they were triangular um, and I wondered where they went but I couldn't figure it out. Well, it's on the front of the ship, the bow of the ship around this lattice work and I wish it had been posted sooner because I think it would have helped. This is on page 15 and in looking back it doesn't show it in any of these photographs uh, when I was doing this lattice work until now I think it would have helped in getting this put in place a little better here are the two pieces I'm talking about and I've gone ahead and I beveled the curved part right here so it'll fit on the ship better and as you can see it will fit right in here and you have to angle it. I don't know if you can see very well. But you can see it would help shape this lattice part if I had been able to put it on sooner. Also something to make note, there's a little notch cut out in D6 so this rope work can pass through there. So I, uh, I'll probably kind of drill that out prior to putting it on. I decided to go ahead and uh, pre-paint all the cannons and statues that I've got and anything that was is metal and I've got two types of uh, spray paint here one is for metal it just happens to be high heat but it's a nice flat black I'm going to do all the metal pieces in that and then the second is for plastics and I've got those plastic statues they don't normally come with the ship they're an option that you can purchase the detail on them is very good though. I'm going to start out and I'm, I'm going to paint the back side of everything. Let that dry then flip it over and do the front side. And then all these will be repainted by hand. In the process of making the cannons, I did end up using the little copper wires that I talked about. I've also darkened them. I've covered this before, but I'll just give a little hint. It's uh, Nova Can Black Patina. It is, uh, it's an acid base, so be sure to follow all the directions on the label if you choose to do that. But it will give the copper that aged look. Then the kit does come with dowel rods that are the diameter to uh, make the axles, but they are also the same as toothpicks, so I just went ahead and used toothpicks. Next, I'll cut those off. It just kind of made it easy to put them together for me. Still more work to do. I have all the, the uh, rope work to do. Obviously, the axles aren't done. I've been working on positioning the cannons and there's a little bit of a design flaw. This cannon is much too close to the stairs. If I put a cannon here, you could not access the stairs. So I'm not going to put that cannon there. And probably going to mount those two at the front of the ship. The other thing that I just noticed, and I've already repaired it, but I had not put a hole for this, uh, the, the back mast. This was all solid planks. And by looking at the diagram, I estimated that's where it would go. Stuck a needle through, found a hollow spot, and then gently cut around where it actually goes. So might want to 
make a note for yourself if you're like me. I accidentally planked over the entire opening for that mast. You just need to leave a, a small gap so you know where it is and then you can trim where it goes. Another issue I had at the base of the stairs is these little spindles don't really go all the way up to the top of the stair rail. So I could make those taller and make it attach. I could put a little piece of wood in there. I've been working on the uh, lifeboat. There's only one that comes with this particular ship. And it went together pretty easily. I've got the uh, bones of it in place. And it shows like these floorboards, but it doesn't indicate what you use to make those. So I just use some scrap that I have and put that in there. So going together pretty well. I'll be uh, planking it somewhere to a full-size ship, so that'll be the next step. I have a very scientific and mathematical way that I compute how to finish up the planks on model ships, especially these tiny ones. See how perfect a fit that is? And then on the back side, I have to stress it just a little bit. That's going to be a perfect fit. Basically, I just take a little piece of the planking, I take my belt sander, and I just keep taking off little bits until I get the angle just right. Nothing scientific about it at all for me. So let me get some glue and get that last piece on. It's snug enough fit. I don't necessarily even need to put any little clamps on it, but I will. So there's the lifeboat planked. I finished the gold leafing on all of the statues. There's also some brass decorative things that go behind them on the ship. I put those in place. They, again, just come off of this brass plate. And you can see there's, there's more things that go different places on the ship. I'll do that eventually. In order to get the statues that go on the side into proper position, I have had to notch out this rail. So I'll need to put some stain in there and then I can work on getting these in place. I put in place the gold ornament piece on the back of the ship. Still have not done the lanterns. That'll be one of the last things I do because they're so fragile. Other things I've worked on, these are the the uh, ornamentation that will go on the back of the ship. Again, that's the gold leaf. If I can hold that in my hand, give you a better view of it. Lots of small pieces to put together. And that sits right here. I'll probably put some gold coins on there and maybe a, a cloth map as time goes on. Another item that I'm in the process of working on, almost completed, is the capstan. And I'm in the process. I'm, I've got it set where it goes. The mast goes through it. And here's my electrical wiring. I won't connect this yet. But you can see I also have some chain that I'm going to loop in between each one. I'm in the process of that. I also wrapped some thread where the handle is just for effect. I have some sculptured toothpicks that ha had what looked like a handle edge on the outer part. So I just used those. On this, I started out using chain and I switched it to rope. I'm still undecided on that. I can always go back. And you may have noticed I did put chain back here on this part of the ship. That's only because I like the looks. The Black Pearl doesn't really have chain back there. It may have rope work and these eyelets. You can hardly see the eyelet uh, because of the chain. So in this area, I've also put rope. Now in the actual movie, this is a thinner piece of, of rope, but I came up with something on my own. I've gotten two of them, and this is tarred rope, and it, it kind of bends and then will keep that shape, and I'm very happy with that. You can see this piece is thinner than what I used. I might switch to this. And I also found this thicker variety. And if I can zoom in on this, it has the right twist 
or nautical looking. And this is actually used in fishing where you would tie it to a branch like a and drop several hooks. But it has this um, well, it's called tar line, which to me is perfect for a sailing ship. So I got that on Amazon. I'll put the full description on the screen as I'm talking when I do the editing on this. Lots of sizes. The initial one that I ordered was too large. It was neat, but it was a little bit too large. So I sent it back and, and got the two smaller sizes. Now the ship does come with quite a bit of, of rope work and I'll use that too. I'm still undecided what I'm going to do here. I don't like necessarily like this look. I could remove this and just carve out my own. I could fill in the space with a piece of wood. I could remove it completely or I can leave it as is. I'm just completely undecided on that. Another area that I've worked on and pretty much finished and you can kind of see it now but I'm going to change the position of the ship. I have put the two uh, statues just outside the doors to the captain's quarters and again as I've mentioned before that's all done in the gold leaf those are actually kind of hard to see let me lower the camera so you can see it's hard to see the entire statue but that's the design so what you could do is there's a little box that they sit on you could not put that in and they would sit lower and you could see them better if you want to see the upper portion of the statue I went ahead and did what the instructions indicated, and I'll, I'll uh, keep with that. And I realized these could probably be darker instead of the gold. This gold will not tarnish much because it is uh, true gold. But in my view, the black pearl eventually would collect enough gold that they could have actual gold statues. So that's my thought. A little bit of personalization. Uh, and not necessarily true to the movie itself. I do like it, and it's a little bit blurry, but you can see this thicker rope. That just looks more uh, true nautical to me. And there's a clear view of it. I like the look of it. I've seen some actual ships, and they do normally have very large rope work in some areas. Upper deck cannons are in place, and I'm happy with those. I may do a little touch up you know, on camera. You can see that little light spot there. I can touch that up later. But as far as the cannons go, that's went fine. The lower cannons I will not put in until right at the end, one of the last steps, along with these cannon doors, because I'm afraid I would hit them and knock them off. So I'll just hold off on that. So that's the latest on my build of the Black Pearl Golden Virgin and I'll continue working on it. it is going slower because a lot of this is detail work that will show so I'm having to take my time but I appreciate you all sticking with me and stay tuned I'll do another episode in the relatively near future as always thanks for watching